So oh, oh. let's go ahead and jump <laughs> to, nice um, <laughs> we'll jump to our uh, kind of, this is um, the redesigns that Julie put together. So Julie, uh-huh. we're going to start with the anxiety 101 because whenever I start the show with Elisa, I feel this. Um, so <laughs> tell us about, so the first one, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on it. The first one mm-hmm. is uh, like the original pin, the one on the left, correct? correct? Okay. Yes. So tell yes, us your thoughts is. behind this. Awesome. So the original pin, some of the things that I really liked about it was that they were really trying to um, focus people in on that text. It's nice and large. Um, They tried a couple different fonts to maybe make certain words stand out more than others. And you can see that they also were going for some consistency with color. Um, You can see that there's some rectangles in there of that light pink coming from the tulip in the background. So I kind of wanted to take some cues from what they were already doing and go with something a little bit nature inspired that maybe some of us would associate with um, kind of feelings of maybe opposite (laughs) anxiety. So maybe uh, kind of here in this one with the stacked stones, still speaking to nature um, and kind of using color theory to um, bring about kind of those feelings of like new beginnings and growth with that green. And I went with making anxiety the largest word so that that's kind of what catches people's eyes as they're scrolling through Pinterest. See, stacked rocks make me anxious. So I guess. Oh, really? No, no, it's fine. I'm just kidding. So so talk a little bit about color theory, theory, because, you know, green is supposed to be relaxing. Uh, Give us like some breakdown Mm -hmm. of maybe some other of the primary colors that um, people may not know about. Yeah, fantastic. In fact, the next one uh, over there to the right, I use blues because blues are actually associated with feelings of calm and peacefulness and also uh, being responsible. And so I thought that this stock photo would be great because already use those blues um, that might make us feel a little bit more calm and peaceful, which is kind of a great way to get people thinking of maybe that end state of mind if they do read about this mm. blog post on how to cope with anxiety. And that lady looks really uh, relaxed. I mean, she's like drinking <laughs> she her tea. It's probably bourbon, but that's why she's relaxed. <laughs> but she's I mean, it's very, what the article but it, is but about. It, but it has that feeling to it of like, okay, you're sitting in a corner, you're taking some time out, and you're not anxious, mm-hmm. which is the opposite of what the word is saying at the top. So very, very cool. Right. So about this awesome. third one, talk about that a little bit. Fourth right. One. So here you Again, um, I went with a different set of colors that also might go with the theme here. Um, And we've got some neutrals. We've got the creams and the grays and the black of her coat. And these kinds of colors are actually usually associated with feelings like sophistication, elegance, here again, calm. Um, And so these are just a couple different ways that you could use color theory to really kind of help bring about the feelings that people should have or that you're hoping they might have when they come across your pin or the blog post Um, because whether we realize it consciously or not we're always impacted by color and so we can use that to really help communicate more effectively with our audience very very cool i like the way that you uh, yeah i I like the way that you added the like what's in it for me but Mm -hmm. not in such a way that it took over the image so what it is how to cope 15 tips uh, all really important things to know but more focused on the image rather than the text is really nice. 